Hey, what is up guys? Trex here. Welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program with JXW. Hope you guys like the new intro. Tell me if there's anything I should change, like the resolution on the KSP logo. I kind of noticed that, but I don't think it'll be too noticeable. But I can still make changes because I have all the project files. Anyways, this episode, if you recall, last time we could not re-enter the atmosphere. And so this episode we're going to be designing a new type of rocket. I'm going to be trying a different type of editing style for this. Um, it's going to be like Trex Blaze, except it's going to not take as much time for me. And we'll just see how things go. But first of all, question of the video. If you were running out of it, what song would you play if you are running out of oxygen at the bottom of the Marianas Trench? Leave your answer in the comments below, and I'll be sure to read them and possibly listen to the song. But anyways, we have a rocket to design. Alright, uh, this is the rocket design I think we're going to try. Uh, my sort of plan for this is that this rocket, this stage right here, boosts us up into space, then we separate, and we use this solid rock booster to kind of circularize our orbit, uh, so that we can get loads of science and stuff, and then we use it to break ourselves when we re-enter the atmosphere, so that we don't explode upon impact, and stuff. Actually, let's get a pooch engine, flea I mean, so we can slow ourselves down, there we go, so, we'll go over this again, get us to space, circularize the orbit, um, and we won't make full orbit so that we can come back to Ur to Kerbin, and then this, will, this stage will be to slow us down, then we'll decouple with all the science intact, let's try it out, what did we call our last spacecraft, um, never mind, we'll just call this the solid fuel mess thing. Oh, Canada. Yeah. Alright, we are on the launch pad. SAS on, Jeb. Are you ready to go? What can you see? The clear blue skies. I think we're ready. Let's blast off. Alright, the rocket... Oh, we forgot to do the, uh, the thrust booster, so we're gonna be going up too quickly. That might be a slight problem. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. We, it, it, it shouldn't be too bad. I think we're going to go through most of this fuel. Anyways, before the aerodynamics can be a problem. Alright, we're starting to speed up. We're past 300 meters per second. We can see the aerodynamic effects. Really should have put that thrust limiter on, but we are almost out of fuel on the stage. Getting ready to decouple in 3, 2, 1... Oh no, 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 that that was not supposed to come off. It was not supposed to come off. All right, let's get this working properly. Thrust limiter, 65%. Uh, thing, decoupler right there. Th that thing goes t to a stage right here. De decoupler... Yeah. SAS on, Jebediah ready, staging is correct, thrust limiter active, let's do this. Alright, slow takeoff, that's good, that means we won't be getting massive aerodynamic effects. I love how the smoke comes out, the smoke shoots instead of just billowing all over, it's so nice, that's such a nice touch. And, and just a little added bit of realism, the smoke through the smoke shoots, I really like that. I'm going to stop talking now. We are swaying slightly to the left. I don't know why I'm going to try and counteract that, uh, but that does not appear to be doing anything good for us. This is not taking us to space, I know that for sure. We'll see how far it can get us, though. Uh, I'm currently struggling against the SAS, but yeah, we'll, we'll just see if we survive or if we go out Apollo 1 style. Actually, no, it'd be Challenger style. Appears we have an apoapse of 13,000. I'm going to want to get that up with this solid rocket booster. I'll go at like a 45 degree angle or something. 
There we go, this should take us up. Oh, we forgot a thrust booster on this one. Can I cut the engine? Nope, we're screwed. Ah, uh, great, that is bringing our app apps way up. 30,000, 35,000, let's see where we can get to. We have caught on fire. And finally, things aren't going to plan, but who cares, we're going to use this little flea engine to bring our app apps up past the space line into space so that we can reach space and make this an actual space program. Please work. Ah, uh, beautiful. 132,000 and we aren't gonna skip off the atmosphere or anything, which is nice too, I suppose. Alright, music has started, which means that we are in space. Let's warp to the Apoapsis and quick save. Turn off the SES so we're not burning through electric charge. There we go. Quick save. Let's see here. Uh, what science can we get? Observe the materials bay for 25 science. Collect mystery goo for 10 science. EVA report for 8 science. Crew report for 5 science. And we'll do that one when we're re entering the atmosphere. Let's actually EVA again. Let go, um, and we will just collect this science. I don't think we've used the EVA pack in this series yet. Uh, remove the data, check, and come down here and remove this data. There we go. All right, um, that's actually quite nice. I think we could get a better thumbnail out of this. Let's see here. Um, hopefully we don't drift away from our spacecraft or anything, though. Oh, yes, beautiful. There we go. There we go. That's, that, that made the spacecraft catch on fire. Um, okay. And it's kind of drifting away. We should get back to it. We are officially back in the atmosphere now. So we are falling, falling, falling. Uh, should have used this instead to help us to send through the atmosphere or something, but oh well. We should survive anyways, right? Right, okay. Uh, we'll observe that when we're on fire as we enter the atmosphere. This flea thing is designed to explode and save us from dying, so hopefully it does its job and we slow down enough. Uh, we are speeding up. No, that's not good actually. We should be slowing down. Um, please, please slow down. We are on fire, though. Let's observe this science thing for nine science. All right, I think that we might be able to survive. Um, that, that's how NASA does it, right? When they're trying to get... Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. That's not good, 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 that's not good. Oh, we exploded. Everything's exploding. Okay, good, good thing we got the, um... Good thing we grabbed the science out of that. We lost like eight science, but we're, we're, we're alive. Everything exploded around us, but we're alive, and that's all that matters. But anyways, as I was saying, that's how NASA does it, right? That that might get them back alive. Parachute nearly died. Safe to deploy. Safe. Let's deploy it. There we go. 3,000 meters away from touchdown. We lost only like eight science, and we can probably get that back or something. But yeah, overall, I'd call that fairly successful. We didn't die. Jebediah lives to go on another mission. And we actually made it up into space. I didn't think about that part. Now I just have to get up into orbit. 30 meters from impact. Let's see if we survive the water landing. Water is actually more dangerous to land on than land in this game. And beautiful splashdown. Jebediah, why don't you get out and just swim? No! No! Jebediah, come back! Don't go all, what's the brother's name from, because of Win dixie I don't know. 12 data, pretty sweet. EVA, 3.2, recover the vessel. How much science do we get? Bum, 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 bum. That was pathetic. We got 15.3 science earned. Bring your total up to 20, Warren. I'm white. I'm white. I'm white. 
I'm. We should recover this vessel as well. We started out here, right on that little different colored line, and we wound up all the way around here. So that's pretty nice. The solid fuel mess thing has been recovered for 56 point of science earned. Bring it up to 77. I'm white. I'm white. I'm white. I'm white. All right, we got 77.7 science, man. Yo, what, what, what should we spin it on? Stability, we're gonna need that. Survivability, we're gonna need that. The heat shields. Uh, dang it, we are just shy of getting any of these. We should not have bought stability. We don't actually need that that much. Hey, boy. We're gonna need some more science. But that is for another episode. So, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Kerbal Space, or sorry, of Trex's Space Program. Tell me your thoughts on the intro in the comments below, as well as the answer to the question I posed at the beginning of this video. If you want to buy Kerbal Space Program, Steam links in the description below. So yeah, I will see you guys all next time, and goodbye.